lovelies and welcome to Juliet Sewing Life. Today we will be discussing how to decode a commercial dress pattern. We're going to be talking about how and what all those little marks mean and we're going to be giving you a PDF download so you'll be able to check that out along with this video. So let's get started. Okay, we are at number 18 which is a stay stitch. You find that um, pattern calls for a stay stitch for anything with a rounded edge normally. So the top of a dress or a top or anything like that, that is, um, especially if it's a woven uh, piece of fabric. We want, it's a stay stitch because we don't want it to move and we want to make sure that it stays quite um, solid. So the stay stitch is usually on a circular collar and it tends to tell you to sew in direction. So you go this way and then that way and you meet in the middle. So let's show you how that is. I'm back to um, uh, stitch zero with a 2.5 stitch. I've lined up my needle. Oh, it's slightly off, but it doesn't really matter, but let's put it right on. It will always be within the seam allowance. You're never gonna say, see the stay stitches. The stay stitching should always be within the seam allowance. So let's get going. So, so it tends to go in one direction first get to the middle. Oh, I caught my thread a bit there. Oops. Needle up. And then you start from the other direction. I don't know why. Some patterns just say just do a stay stitch all the way along the line uh, within the seam allowance and some say go in, in opposite directions. Oh, I don't know why, it is just the way it is. And then the next one goes in like this and then we just meet up in the middle. Oh, <laughs> needle up. And that is how you do a stay stitch and why you do a stay stitch. It's to secure, it is to secure your neck edge so it doesn't quite, it doesn't lose its shape. So that's stay stitching. And now we're moving on to layering the seams and trimming corners. So I'm gonna do 19 to 22 all on this one piece. So bear with me. So the first one is layer close to your seam and this is what this looks like. So here we have our seam that we sewed, we've pressed open. So now this number 19 is asking you to layer the seam. So one will be long and one on this side, that might be what they mean by layering the seam. It could also mean that they want both of them layered. It depends on the particular uh, pattern and what they, they will show you what they mean by the layering of the seams. So that's number one. The number, the second one is trimming the corners. So if I was making a bag and I had sewn these corners and basically I was going to turn it the other way around, the way to cut, you want to cut the corners. So you want to click, let me do it on this side. You want to snip the corners, but you don't want to snip your, your um, stitched edge. So that would be snipping the corners. So you'd call phone up there and then you cut right close, but not your stitching. So that is trimming the corners. And then the clip inner curves, I cheat. This is what I use. I use this, I use my, um, I'm sorry, but it's just, I'm just going to use my pink in cheers. That's the best way to run around this. Basically, it's going to be a, a circular, usually the collar piece. And what it's wanting you to do, because this is not going to sit nicely, it's going to be too bulky. So what it wants you to do is they want you to actually layer the seams. And normally you'll see people do this. They do this, and they do this, and they do this technically that's what it is and if you don't have pink in shears that's what you would do you'd make little 
triangles if you like just like that so that's how you would make it that is number 21 I cheat and I simply use my pink in shears that is clean and perfect look at that you're not going to see there's no bulk just use your pink and shears this is you know pink and shears I, I was like why do I need pink and shears this is, this is an expense till I learned this technique and if you make your own clothes you're tending to have a lot of curves whether they be sleeves or collars um, tops of the trap anything where you need to clip those seams your pink and shears are your best friend look at that so I love doing that so and notch outer curves well you could use the same thing notch outer curves and that's the same thing so that's layering your seams and finally number 23 the understitch let me just turn my machine on mm -hmm. understitch is i don't know if you can see it oh look at the threads on this i have stitched oh where are we right here so that is an understitch on a real garment and i'm going to show you on this thing here we clipped our seams so there's less bulky and left that bit right here so what this is asking you to suppress away from your garment so you press that we've already pressed it away from our garment and now what it wants us to do it wants us to secure all of this back thing all out the way so when we fold it it lies nice and flat and it's got that nice little stability so facing side up under stitch close to the seam through facing and seam allowance so we're going to go right along here so i'm at um, stitch zero all my facing and everything is all facing away from me and we're going to stitch really close i was using the hand wheel to make sure before I drop that needle. I'll take a stitch back. Oh, I was looking for my foot pedal, but I'm not using it. <laughs> okay, and let's go. And it's really close. I'm just gonna slow this down because do not be afraid to go really slowly so you can actually make sure and feel confident and it's not gonna be running away from you. And it also is really very meditative. I mean, it's so relaxing when it goes slowly like that. And you can see exactly where I tend to pull them apart to make sure that I've got it all where I need it to be. It's holding it all the way back. And it's securing it all through those layers. Don't be afraid to use your speed control. That's what it's there for. You are in control. And if you need it to be a little less fast, make sure that you put it at the right speed for you. Needle up. Let's clip our threads. And there we have it. I've secured all there now and that's nice and close you see don't think about that it's a nice close edge stitching or under stitching depending on which way you're using it so that is to de that is decoding the symbols on a commercial dress pattern. I'm so glad that you joined me for this. I hope this was really useful for you. Don't forget to download the PDF that goes along with it um, and you'll see the little um, close-up version so you'll be able to pay attention a little bit closer or see a lot, lot closer. And thank you for joining me. And our next video is going to be how we cut out our pattern. So I'll see you for the next one. Mm -hmm.